All right, in this Geek Tip video, I'm going to show you how to clean up and reset Mozilla Firefox. There are two different ways to get to the actual settings. One of them is through the menu button here. If we click on it, we'll see settings here. And up on the menu bar, which is accessible via right click. You can actually turn that on and uh, you'll that is quite handy when it comes to resetting Firefox and I'll show you later but we can get to settings from here and we've got tools we can get settings here so let's go to settings so alright first first section we're going to look at is general general pretty much this is just appearance uh, personal preferences um, one thing I do is I like to have my files saved. Uh, I like to tell Firefox where I want everything saved. You know, I don't necessarily want everything just drop into my downloads folder. So I always like to have it ask when I save my files. Also, there you have some uh, the ability of the applications that will open different different files so this could come in handy uh, also you definitely want to make sure that uh, Firefox is up to date and you want to make sure that automatically install updates is turn checked Firefox is not running you can you can set it to, to that and you never have to worry about it it'll it'll update itself when you start it up so Alright, so that's pretty much everything under general. Let's go to home. This is where you want to check, see if there's any malicious addresses that have been added into your computer, into your Firefox. Uh, a lot of malicious apps will try to, you know, make your system go to well, pages that you don't want it to go to. So, if you have a custom URL in there, you would definitely want to make sure to take a look at it. If it's not something you recognize, switch it back to Firefox Home. Same thing for new tabs. You definitely don't want Firefox opening up a malicious web page when you start it up. It's, no, not good. So, so that is pretty much Home search you can define what search engine you actually you're using up here in the toolbar in the search box search box you actually have to add in but uh, it's just uh, you know something you can add in if you want you know give you a little little bonus here you can customize your toolbar drag and drop anything you want to it up to the up to you know you see a little box here and here you can actually drag one of these up there and do that so uh, just for the sake of argument I wanted to put home page up there and let's see take home we'll stick it and we'll drop it right there okay cool there now we have home button up there all the time so all right so that's uh, search area basically it's you know personal preferences here but uh, Definitely, you can check it and see if there are any search engines you don't want. You have the ability to change them out. So, we'll go into privacy and security. Definitely, standard setting is default protection. You can go strict, but you have to remember you some of those settings may break the functionality of some websites. So be careful with that one cookies insight data this is where you go ahead and you clear your data out um, nice thing is you can clean everything out if you want but yes definitely if you're having problems getting to a website it's not displaying properly definitely clear your cookies out clear your cache out clear all the content out get it back to uh, you know pristine condition make Firefox go out and download the latest and greatest version of that page so uh, basically there's a lot of convenient stuff here um, saving passwords auto filling 
different forms. You know, it's all, you know, it's personal preferences. One setting I do recommend, and I like to use it myself, is I have set the Firefox to use custom settings for history. And I have it set to clear the history. Now, if I go into settings, it'll tell me which items it, it'll close. It'll clear out when I close Firefox. So, one thing I like to have, I just want cookies and site data cleared when I close Firefox. That way I don't have to worry about it. So, uh, I got your permissions down here. Data collection use, you can, you know, turn off all of that if you don't want it. Advertising preferences, security. Definitely down here in security, you want to make sure that block dangerous and deceptive content is checked. You also want to make sure that block dangerous downloads and warn you about unwanted and uncommon software is checked too. So those are definitely uh, three settings I would make sure that are checked. Sync. Well, that basically if you have a Firefox account, you can synchronize your passwords, your bookmarks and all that fun stuff across different platforms your smartphone your tablet your computer I personally like using the sync feature myself so all right Firefox labs well this is where you can uh, do a little you know <laughs> running some of their <sighs> development and stuff that's you know beta version stuff so so you do have the ability to restore defaults here, um, but of course that's only for Firefox Labs. So more from Mozilla, basically more of their products. You have the ability to get to those. So let's go into extensions and themes. So this is where you can find plugins, extensions. Um, you can change the look feel of Chrome with a theme or Firefox with a theme so your extensions if you go in here and you find any extension you do not recognize turn it off just slide that little slider and turn it off so um, if it doesn't affect your browser and you find that you don't really need it you can actually go over here and click on remove and get rid of it so it's you know completely up to you but definitely go in look at the extensions if you don't recognize them get rid of them all right so that's pretty much your extensions themes well and just like the recommendations up here they didn't want you to customize it and plugins you probably might find a rogue one here or there, but mainly these are just kind of back end for the functionality of Firefox. So um, now basically go back to the settings page, uh, Firefox support. You know, basically that's what it's going to show you here. It's just take you to another page. So now, if you want to reset. Firefox. There's a trick to that. You know, you can't, you don't find it over here in the menu button. You're going to find it up here in the menu bar. You have to go to Help, More Troubleshooting Information. This is where you can actually refresh Firefox. It's made basically, it'll re you know, it'll reset Firefox back to its original default. So that's the way you go about doing a refresh on Firefox the other option is to completely uninstall Firefox and then reinstall it so you would have to you know go into settings or control panel go to apps install the apps go down here to Mozilla Firefox click the three horizontal dots click on install once you get it uninstalled then you have to go and 
you restart your computer you go back in and you gotta clean it up a little bit so you're gonna find there's two different places inside of your computer you're gonna find it um, you're gonna find let's go here we'll bring up a run dialog box and we'll go here you're gonna find that you have it in your local app data and you're also going to find it in your roaming app data so you definitely want to clear those two out then one last place over in program files Mozilla Firefox you definitely want to get rid of that folder too after you've uninstalled it if it's still there once you've cleared out those three locations I'd restart your computer and you're ready to reinstall Firefox so on that note that uh, pretty much sums up how to clean up and reset Firefox so when you get a chance go over and check out the full video or full blog it's in the actual comments the description of this video so all right till next time have a great day